What up, Bermuda? I'm your host, Ty Ray. You're locked into Vote Trivia. I'm a bit tired. I'm a little bit wounded from last night's antics. But I ain't going to say too much. I just want you to keep it locked so you can see for yourself. Rody footage. Hey, Friday Night Chronicles. I ain't put on my mask yet. Okay, question number one. No, we're going to. We're going to. Okay, we're going to all out. Are we ready? Question number one. Listen, listen, listen. You and everyone else was born with 24 ribs. In case you didn't know. So let's imagine this is possible and someone takes one rib from you. And this and this one's easy. So without giving it too much thought, you'd say that this person has how many more ribs than you? He's got one more rib from us. He, one more rib. He had yeah. They have how much more ribs than you? They will have. They're taking a rib away from me, so now they will have 25 ribs. Okay. So how much more is that than you? One less than me. One one less. Okay, so we're going to keep stepping and moving on. How are you guys enjoying your Friday night? Beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> I would agree. You guys wouldn't believe how my Friday night's going so far. But I'm not going to get into it. I'm going to get ready. Get into it, get into it. No, no, no. I'm going to get ready into these questions. You guys are ready? Oh, see, 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 see. Okay, so both of you listen closely. Question number one. You and everyone else was born with 24 ribs, in case you didn't know. So let's imagine this is possible and someone takes one rib from you. So without giving it too much thought, you'd say that this person has how many more ribs than you know? <laughs> Two, three, three ribs? I don't know. I don't know either. Mm, like four, I don't know. <laughs> so Adam had 23, we had 25, so we get one that makes 24, so that means we all got 24 ribs. I don't know what to do. I guess I gotta get That's part two of my com This is my favorite song. You know. But let me know already. Mic check. We're good. We got another contestant, a very beautiful lady. How are you enjoying your Friday night? Very well, thank you. Okay, that's good. That's good. You ready to answer some questions tonight? Let's do it. How Let's many do. It's only five. It's four with a bonus. Three. 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 It, it's okay. Okay. Well, we we we'll, we'll do what we can. Um. So, question number one. You and everyone else was born with twenty-four ribs. In case you didn't know. So let's imagine this is possible. Someone takes one rib from you, and this one's easy. It's real simple. So without giving it too much thought, you'd say that this person has how many more ribs than you? They took one rib from you, so they have. One, if they take one from me. One, I have one more. 24. If I, have, if I had 24 and they took one, then they have 25. Correct. Mic check. We're good, we're good. Okay, so we are on Front Street. We found some more contestants. Are you guys ready to answer some questions? Yeah, for sure. As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> I heard that a lot. I heard that a lot. So question number one. You and everyone else was born with 24 ribs, in case you did not know. So let's imagine this is possible, and someone takes one rib from you. So without giving it too much thought, how many more ribs than you does this person now have? You said 24 ribs total? Everybody has 24 ribs. Right, so they had 25 ribs, and they took a rib from me. And how much more ribs do they have than you now? Two. Two. Well, I have 23 because they took from me. Now they have two more. <sighs> and that's. They have 20. They have, I have 23 and they have 25. And that's just what I've been looking for all night, people. <laughs> um, two more than me. Two as well. You're copying her? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Simple map. Plus one. Adam, that. that he nothing. Adam don't mean off because I get my rib. Look, my friends calling me. Tell her you on vote trivia. I'm on vote trivia. I'm on vote trivia. Say shout out vote. I'm coming back now. Shout out vote trivia. You I know that. Hopefully I don't look look bad on this. <laughs> Can I curse? No. Question number two. 
I went over a friend's house for a barbecue. You know, it's summertime. You know, people like cook oats and all that there. I went over a friend's house for a barbecue one night and stayed there for three days. How many days and nights was I there for? You were there for two nights and three days. Two nights and three days. Sounds like a staycation to me. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it moving. The barbecue, you know, grill, steaks, ribs, burgers. The big Q. Two days. Two days and how much nights? Well, two days and three nights. That's an estimate. An estimate. I gave you direct numbers, but we're going to leave that alone. Yeah. <laughs> three days. <laughs> and how much nights? Two nights. Quite possibly. I went over a friend's house for a barbecue one night and stayed there for three days. How many nights and days did I stay over? You stayed three? How many? You stayed three nights? Three days? Three days. You stayed four nights. Four nights and how much days? Well, it would be five. Gotta be. I went over a friend's house for a barbecue one night. They had Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat? Because <laughs> I like Beyond Meat. She's a daddy. I'm a vegetarian. A I'm a flaxitarian. That's a word. Flaxitarian? But we put that on the next episode. Okay. How many days and nights was I there for? That's my favorite show. Um, four days and three nights. Wait, how many days and nights combined? Or just like how many... How many days and nights? So I need an answer for a day, I need an answer for a night. You say you went over a friend's house for a barbecue, you stayed for three days. How many days and nights did you stay for? Yo, it sounds like you're asking me, but I'm supposed to ask you. How many days and nights was I there for? You stayed for three days, three nights. Four days, three nights. Four days, three nights. Three days. Four nights and three days. He got over any night. He said he stayed there with her for three days. No, he said I stayed there for, I stayed with my friend for one night. Three days, two nights. Three days, two nights. Three days and three nights. Somebody's right. And if you didn't know, I'm looking at the rain, because it's, it's hitting me right now on my shoulders. Lock me media vote. Lock me in. I didn't even ask you to say that yet. Keep right. Stick to the script. Okay, well, well, we're gonna move on, keep it. Say you say it for a dark night. I didn't. So, but this is the dark question. We're moving on. Can you spell the word anonymous? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I wasn't good at spelling in school. So. This episode was brought to you in part by WKD. The same thing I said when I saw you. I thought you had a wicked side, Mr. Get Educated. Hey, hey look, don't, 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 don't dope my wicked side, you know. I'm at a rough night. It's, don't dope my wicked side. Yeah, you need to get yourself up. It's not a good look. Get up, get up. Wait, let me clean myself up first, please. Oh, I just had the craziest dream. Felt like I was tapping back into my wicked side. But, you know, keep it locked. What the? Can you spell the word anonymous? I'm gonna tell you, I wasn't good at spelling in school, so try that one. Me either. Anonymous? Anonymous. A O N O N A M O U S. Good stuff, good stuff. A N O M Y N O U S. Good job, well done, well done. Oh gosh, I know it's A N O Y N O U S. I I'm just taking a guess. Final answer? 
Yeah, that's my final answer. Good job, good job. Can you spell the word anonymous for me? A N O N Y M O U S. Anonymous. Uh, a natural born speller, I guess. Anonymous. A N O N Y M O U S. Anonymous. What school you guys went? Uh, I guess Uni of Waterloo. <laughs> we both went to the same university, University of Waterloo. Ontario, Canada. I'm going to put in my application tomorrow. Guaranteed. I'm an engineer. I don't do English. Anonymous. A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S. A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S. Am I wrong? We can make... Am oh, I oh my God! Come in during my phone. That's illegal, you know? Hey, look, look, confidence is key. Confidence is key. What's up? Just calling for A N O N Y M U S. Anonymous. A N O M Y. What you drinking? Ciroc. Wicked WKD shout out. This is why we don't come out too often on Friday nights. Question number four. Question number four. What kind of sentence most often ends with a question mark? And this one's multiple choice. Is it A, declarative, B, interrogative, C, exclamatory, or D, none of the above? Oh my gosh. Now we're going to do it again. Um, you know what? I'll go with A. A, declarative. Yeah, declarative. You got an example of a declarative sentence? Oh, man. English wasn't my forte. Oh gosh, the shirt that I'm wearing is it blue? There we go. Declarative is a decla declaration. I love Friday nights. What you said? The second one. Interrogative. Great time for me to be drinking and not have um, my literature at my frontal. Shout out WKD. Exclamatory would assume that you're asking like a loud question. So, what kind of sentence most? Oh, then let me start that over. Yeah, 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 you mess me up. You mess me up. If you declare something, that's not a question. Interrogative is more so question. And the last one is what? Exclamatory and. D, yeah, none of the exclamatory is with an exclamatory mark, so I'm gonna say B. B. I don't know. B. B. Interrogative, but that seems a lot more like uh, you're asking more an intellectual question. Interrogative, intellectual. It has to make sense. Interrogative. B. Yes, B. Interrogative. None of the above. D. None of the above. Yes. Somebody's got it right once again. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. That's what it says? Interrogative? Interrogative is one of the answers. That's one's B. Interrogative. Interrogative. Mm, I'll say interrogative. None of the above. Interrogative. interrogative. Well, interrogative. Last one? If you're interrogating somebody, you're asking them. A question. Period. You want to give us that definition one more time? If you're interrogating somebody, you're asking them a question. Sounds like her boyfriend's in trouble. Boyfriend, but what yo? What yo? Bullet, bullet. I mean, shout out WKD because honestly, these girls have been drinking them all night. Last question. This one takes all the beans. This is a bonus. Simple, true, or false. So you gotta get it. It's fifty percent. PSA is a well-known acronym for Parent Student Association. Correct. So true. PSA. This one takes all the beans, as you already know. PSA is a well-known acronym for Parent Student Association. True or false? PSA? False. You care to tell me what it's for? PSA is a score for a medical thing. You're on the right track. Yeah, I know. It's a simple true or false answer. 
PSA is a well-known acronym for Parent Student Association. Depends on the context. Possibly. Because PSA, like Parent Teacher Association, my mother's a teacher, so I've like I've heard that. But PSA means like um like you know when you PS at the end of a letter? Yes. PS, I love you. Yeah, PS I love you. But I said PSA. I also mean you know, that in a different term, but PSA, Parent Parent Teacher Association. That's what it means to me. I'm saying Parent Teacher Association. Yeah, true, yeah. PSA is Parent Teacher Association. I can't remember the stands for it, but I know PSA is it's a medical thing and it's for a man. Uh, for a man. Well we're gonna leave that one open ended. True or false? No, public service announcement is definitely what it's for. Well tell the people you got a perfect service. Tell them that you have a public service announcement and you are locked into the vote. Uh it's a public service announcement and I'm locked into the vote. <laughs> Keep it locked. True or false? PSA is a well-known well acronym for Parent Student Association. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, keep, tell, tell the people. Period. Tell the people. Right. Tell them what? Public media. Bird media. What lock in? Like? like true or false? Yeah. False. False. What is it a popular acronym for? Personal uh, um, public service announcement. Public safety announcement. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> And we have a public safety versus slash service or no public service announcement for you. And I need you to keep it locked to vote trivia tonight. Let the people know that you're locked into the vote. We're locked, locked into, into the, the vote. vote. Sometimes I honestly love my job, and sometimes it's not you half bad. Apple, like what? You never made your job. You did. You did. Twenty five. And it's her birthday. She gets 25 years of age. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Shout out. Okay, so can you thank Happy thank birthday to me? Baby, I didn't ask for it. I promise. I didn't ask for it. Happy birthday to you, darling. We got a winner. Anything you would like to say to our sponsors? Yeah, thank you for the WKD Blue. And also thanks for the shirt. True vote. She be luck. Oh, and if you didn't know, new merch, who this? <laughs> you go over to a friend's house for a barbecue one night. You spend three days there. How many days and nights did you spend at the house? I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I appreciate it so much. I'm getting, oh, not mine. Shout out WKD for the blue Shout out WKD for the barbecue one too. I appreciate it so much. What up to the Bar Media vote? If I didn't say it already, new March, who this? Who this? Keep it locked. Keep, Keep it locked. Check in. No check in and check out time. No, 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 what's no, no, super no, no, analytical no, no, people? No, no, what analytical people? Shout out for WKD and vote trivia for the merch. God bless, God bless. Shout, shout out, out to WKD. WKD. And shout out Vault Trivia. You only spent three days and I assume that you spent two nights. That's why I went to Gala. We got that wrong to Gala. <laughs> We're locked into the vote. Thank you so much for the t shirt and the wicked. I appreciate you all. I love your material. Keep going. Keep it locked. <laughs>